Bishan, the man on strike, and likes to play shots, very experienced. They will need early wickets though, India. Straight away, looking to be aggressive, thick part of the inside edge, will get off the mark, Bishan. What about this man though, Sanat Jai Surya? Look at that strike rate, 136.3. Devastating. That's why. Straight away off the mark and it'll probably beat the fielders. Probably beat the fielders. Yes, it does. Boundary of the first delivery that he faces. Jai Surya gets cracking. Love the ball, beauty. That's the kind of start India are looking at him. What a delivery from Ishan Sharma. Jumping for joy. Always good to see the back of Dilshan. He's gone for one. Sri Lanka 10 for one. What a start for Sharma. The wicket of the second delivery gets in. Kumar Sangakara. We've got to get him early as well. He can be dangerous as we saw in the last match. Oh, fluent. Takes some pace off the ball. But still has enough to get to the boundary. So Sangakara also getting off the mark with a four. Smashed. Has it gone the distance? It's gone flat, but it's gone the distance. Once again, elegant as ever. And he's looking very, very dangerous at the moment. And again, this one's gone quicker. Brings up the 50 for Sri Lanka. Ho, ho, ho! There was a man in the deep, but don't bother about that. It's gone the distance again. 14 runs in this over so far. Loud shout, it's a full length delivery. The finger has gone up, he took his time. And then reckon that ball would have gone on to the stumps. So good breakthrough here for India. Just at the right time. It's 91 for two. Sri Lanka have lost their second wicket. Jay Singer comes out to the middle ahead of Mahela Jayawardena. Any reason for that, Russell? He's a clean hitter of the ball. Taking the aerial route, he gets to his 50 with a maximum. Third 50 in a row for Kumar Sangakara. Hasn't hit it too well, Nera takes it. So Sangakara, after playing superbly yet again, will have to go. The crowd celebrating, big relief for India. And Sangakara gone. It's 121 for three. New man at the crease. We all know is very, very talented Mahana Jayavardana. Again, it's in the air. Long gone getting underneath it and takes it comfortably. So Ishan Sharma providing the breakthrough. Tyagi taking the catch in the deep. Line runs in this over, but more important for India, they picked up another wicket. He's brought in to do the job, Ishan Sharma. Jayavardhana gone for 12, 141 for 4. Gets in, Kapugedra made a good hand in the last match, getting 47. This strike rate of uh, 122. Trying to get there. And he does extremely well. Dinesh Karthik it is. So India getting back. Picking up another wicket. And Yuvraj Singh picks up his second wicket. So he's having a good birthday. And Dinesh Karthik has got a safe pair of hands. It's 155 for 5. New man in. Veera Ratne. Believe he's a big hitter. This is a chance again. It's taken. This time Jareja did not rush forward. He waited for it. 
It's not easy, believe me, to pick the ball up in the background of the crowd. Chadeja has done it very well. Yuvraj, birthday boy, striking again. Third wicket for him. Jaisinghe out for 38, 167 for 6. Angelo Matthews is coming to bat because uh, Jaisinghe was out, caught by Chadeja of uh, Yuvraj. Oh, oh, gone. Gone. What a mess up. What a mix up. The ball was it straight to the fielder. Matthews wanted to get off the mark. And poor Vera Ratna had no chance whatsoever. 167 for 7. Kula Sekra comes into bat. Up in the air. Fielder there. No. It's over him. Six. Smashed away. Should get a couple. The fielder has taken the pace of the ball at extra cover. 200 comes up with that. Last ball of the innings and where is it gone? It's gone over the boundary. What a shot from Angelo Matthews to finish off the Sri Lankan innings. 16 runs coming from this last over from Ashish Nera. Well, he might be the uh, oldest uh, man uh, playing this game, but he still is such a good fielder. His commitment is first class. Bowling straight and making the batsman take the risk, but he's taken it in style this time so far. Magnificent shot to end the over. It's nine for no loss. Terrific. That has gone miles into the crowd. That's a massive hit. It's gone way back into the stands. Second six for Sevar. It's got the gap this time. Maybe the toe end of the bat. But the placement much better from Sevar. Another misfield. Will be at least two. Gumby is running hard. We'll have to settle for two. He wants three and he could be in trouble. This could be trouble. They've had a lot of escapes. Gumby wanted three. Not Brand this Sebat. Fulasikra getting the ball very quickly to Sangakara. Could be touch and go. It's when the bears are completely off. And I think he's just short. Maybe just short of the crease, Gautam Gambhir. And that's bad news for India. And they finally got one. That's it. Gambia is on his way for 21. One for 58 India. Once again at number three, the Indian captain. He's got to come good along with Sebag. India to have a good chance. This one, he belts it down the ground. Straight into the side screen. Maximum for Mahendra Singh Dhoni. He's gone a long way across. Gets it fine and will get four. And brings up the 50 for Virendra Sivar. Sivar has timed it to perfection. Getting underneath the ball to get the elevation. Let's please the Indian team and the crowd. So before he's decided he's not going to stop. And it's raining boundaries once again. Brings up the 100 for India. What a hit this is. 
But the problem is he's found the fielder in the deep. So against the run of play, Sevak departs. It's been an excellent over from uh, Lasit Malinga. He conceded just four runs. And with the last ball, he's got the dangerous Sevak out. Could this be the shift in the balance of this match? Sevak departs for 64, 108 for two. Spectator, how far is that gone? That's the biggest six of the day. 21 of the over, 142 for two. Nice shot. He's found the gap. Mahendra Singh Dhoni. And it brings up the 150 for India. Hits it and hits it brilliantly. Nobody in the field for the movie. And you could hardly see the ball. Another one. Over long ball this time. Nine, six in this innings for India. 50 for Yuvraj Singh. The local boy. Making it happen. Just as India were cruising, Man Singh Dhoni on 46 is out to a terrific delivery from Fernando. The crowd will stand up on its feet and salute the Indian captain. Within striking distance now, it's 188 for three. Losing a big wicket, MS Dhoni gets in Suresh Raina. And two left-handers together at the moment for India now. That'll be four more. Raina this time is good inside out. Brings up the 200. Come on. Direct hit. Ah. Yes, it is. It will be referred. So Raj Raina could be gone here. It's when the bales completely come off the stumps. That moment, I think Rhino might be just in. There you go. Oh, might be in the air. Difficult one for the third umpire. And he's gone. Just looking for the cheeky single. Suresh Rana has got to go. Gone for nine. 200 for four. He's seven to get from eight balls. Dinesh Karthik, the new batsman. Yuvraj decides he'll finish it in splendid manner. What a victory for India. It's the highest successful run chase in T20 internationals and the birthday boy has had a fantastic outing with the bat, with the ball. And Mohali is going crazy with this great victory.